Hello, this is Colin Greatwood, Applications Engineer for LMI Technologies, and I'm here today going to show you how to find a sensor by its IP address if you have forgotten the IP address of that sensor. So the default for an LMI Go Cater, the IP address for that Go Cater, and therefore the URL, is 192.168.1.10. Now if I press enter, I would normally expect for the web GUI to pull up from that sensor that I have connected, uh, but clearly it's, it's not finding the sensor here. So if you need to find that sensor, what you'll need to do is go to our downloads page and get the GoTools package for the firmware version you think you might be running. This isn't super critical because the discovery will occur regardless of a firmware match. So I'm just going to go to the GoCater 2300 series, press go, go down to software, select the most recent release, and then scroll down until you find the GoCater tools package. Clearly, I'm not logged in at this point, so you may need to enter your username and password. Now that I'm logged in, you can see the GoTools package here, and I'll click this English button right here to download that tools package. Now that the package is finished downloading, I'm going to click on it and show in folder. It should be in my downloads folder at this point. And I'm going to unzip that package using whatever tool you have available to you, 7-zip. WinRAR or just your standard Windows extractor tool. It'll take just a moment for this extraction to work. It is a pretty big package. And I'm going to go into that package and look for the folder Discovery. Within the discovery folder of the GoTools package, you'll find this kdiscovery application or .exe file. I'm going to run that, and there it is. That's the sensor I have connected. You can clearly see that the third octet has been changed as I expected it to be 192.168.1.10. It clearly is .2.10 here. So I'm going to change that back to what I expected it to be and click set address. You can either set the address or you can simply change your PC or your laptop's local adapter to be on the same subnet as the sensor. But in this case, I'm going to change the IP address of the sensor. Because a change in IP address results in a sensor power cycle, you're going to have to wait something like 20 to 30 seconds here for the IP address to take effect. You can press the refresh button and once the device shows back up in the device list on the left, you can see it has its new IP address. We're going to go over to our web browser of choice, in my case it's Google Chrome, open up a new tab and we'll type in the new IP address 192.168.1.10. You may have to press the refresh button once or twice. But eventually, your GoCater web GUI will be loaded with the IP address that you had originally expected here at .1.10.